Hello everyone. Just got a quick game idea for you today um, to help students with their blending skills. Now for those of you who are not familiar with what the term blending means, blending is basically once we teach our kids um, their phonics such as ah, apple, blah, blah, book, coca cat, that sort of thing, um, blending is the next step that we go to where we help our kids uh, put those sounds together or blend those sounds together um, so that they can actually read. And the game that I want to tell you about today is called Dice Roll Blending. Now this is not an original game, there's plenty of people out there using it. Um, however, it's a really good game and uh, works well with the kids, they enjoy it and that's why I thought I'd like to share it with you. So, basically what I've done is I've made some uh, dice myself here. I'm sure there's plenty of places where you could go out and actually uh, buy dice that would be appropriate if you modify them in some way, shape or form. We've actually made our own here at the school. Um, and what I've done for this particular combination of dice is on one dice I've put some consonant clusters, which is like pull, sol, der, ter, sir, uh, ger, that kind of thing. Um, on another dice I've put all the vowels, and on the third dice I've put some more consonants. Um, just basically single sounds, so m, g, k, uh, p, t, that kind of thing. And like I said, it's a very, very simple game, and the way it works is you can go around and take turns with your students. The student rolls the first die, to come up with t, and the next die, to come up with e, and the last one, and this one's come up with mmm. So then we put them together and blend them and we get trem. Okay? Just one more time. Dur. Op. And per. And here we get drop. Okay? Now obviously with the random uh, combination of consonants and vowels in this particular game. Um, we can come up with real words like drop, but also we, we obviously often come up with nonsense words and um, in our classes we actually encourage kids to read nonsense words. We use them a lot when we're developing our kids um, reading skills, particularly through the blending stage. Um, the reason why we do this is it's good for kids to read nonsense words because um, if they're encountering a word for the first time, which they obviously will be if it's a nonsense word, um, then in that particular instance they have to actually use their decoding skills and it helps them a lot more with their blending and their reading skills. So it's definitely, um, they're reading phonetically and not by sight in any way. Okay, um, just another thing, uh, in this particular game I'm using only consonants and vowels but obviously something I haven't done yet, but I'm going to try next, is um, I'm going to try incorporating some of the, the double phonetic sounds, such as sh sh ship ch ch chicken e e tree for example, and incorporate it into the game. There's no reason why we can't use the same game um, and incorporate those kinds of uh, phonetic sounds into the game to help the kids with um, learning those sounds. And in some of my classes where I'm, my kids are just starting to learn those particular uh, phonics, I'll be incorporating those into the game. It'll be a nice soft entry into um, blending those phonics and uh, learning to read with those phonetic combinations as well. So, um, like I said, not an original game, but a really good one. So I hope that uh, you might get something out of this video and be able to use this game in your classes with your kids. So, uh, just one other thing, sorry, that I'll mention before I go. On what I've done on my die, on my dice here as well, is I've put some uh, points numbers on the sides of the dice. I put, for example, one to three, one to three, one to three, one to three, etc. Um, and I've done this for some of the more competitive classes that I have where the kids actually like to compete. And when they roll the dice, um, they can add up the, um, the total of the numbers and they get a score for every word that they do. And that just introduces a little bit of a competitive, competitive element into the game. 
Um, some people like to have um, competition in their classes, other people don't. That's obviously up to you what you'd like to do with that. Um, the other good thing about that also though is that um, it can help the kids with their numbers as well. You know, two and one, three and two, five. Okay? So, um, yeah, good game. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Have good fun with it with your kids and have fun reading. See you later. Unfunny treaters have fun reading. Unfunny treaters.